What is going on, everybody? Welcome to Home Behind. I'm your host for the evening, the Birdman, known as Falcon. So this right here is a really interesting game I actually first heard about a couple of months back. It's a RPG strategy survival game, which I'm really into. The only problem was that when it first hit Steam, this was actually in a foreign language. I think it was an Asian language of some kind. Uh, there was no English subtitles. The UI was also in a foreign language, so I really couldn't play it. Just recently, though, it finally got an English translation or an update, I guess, on Steam, so I could finally check this out here for you. This is a really cool-looking game. Um, it all centers around the idea that where you lived, your land was actually overtaken by rebels. There's a civil war going on, so you have to flee to Europe. Along the way, you, was, you also lose track of your family as well. So it's a really, really interesting little cool game I wanted to check out. If you like what you see here today, let me know in the comments, and I might consider covering more of this going forward, because I'm really into survival RPG games, so this would definitely be up my block. So let me know how you guys feel about this by leaving a like, and we will cover more of it going forward. For now, let's go into new game. The first thing we shall do here is actually select our job. We have farmer, worker, apprentice, salesman, and thief, and then you unlock more as you play more of the game itself. And all these have different type of, um, I guess, additional skills and things that can help you out with your journey itself. Um, as you can see over here, I'll just click on a few. You could read those and pause if you would like to. I like the idea of Thief. Gives you plus two agility, plus one intelligence, five percent accuracy, and also gets you makes you better with agility-based weapons. Uh, your mood loss is reduced while stealing. You have a higher chance to steal double the items, but your infamy will increase more quickly. You are a thief with flexible limbs and a quick mind to keep you fed. You are carrying some stolen items. That's very interesting. Let's go with that one. On a quiet morning on your farm at the edge of town, you are hard at work, but it is difficult to hide. You're going too fast now. The civil war seems to have spread across the country. Many of your neighbors chose to flee, abandoning their lives at home. To protect your family, perhaps it would have been wise to leave as well. Jesus, as these thoughts cross your mind... Oh, now you slow down? The sound of gunfire erupts in the distance, the shadows of men and tank... You guys read, okay? You guys just read it. Fuck this. Lilia Desert. How long did I pass out for? I have to live for my family. I would have read that out for you guys. I'm not a slow talker by any means, and that shit was even too fast for me to read, so... Yeah, you guys just hopefully uh, had some time to pause and read as you went along there. Oh, the wind is dying down. Alright, you want me to click on this? And click on this. I've had the last drop of water from the resources I brought with me when leaving the village. I have been unable to find another water source. I don't have the energy to return either. If you see this note, please take the following information to Johnny Village. All of the nearby water sources have dried up. The village just must move. I hope this message will arrive in time to save my family. Thank you. Okay, so we have our HP meter up here. We have our mood. We have how hungry you are and also how our thirst is doing. As you can see over here, just by standing in place, I'm losing food and I guess thirst pretty soon. But I'm recovering a little bit, too. There's also a wolf pup over here, too, huh? How about that? So we already read that. Let's go ahead and move forward with D. Okay. Skeleton. Perish through unknown means. Perhaps you will meet a similar fate in the near future. I hope not. So we could dig this guy, like, dig him a grave or what? We could bury him or bury him here. Dig something or inspect. I guess we'll inspect for an 80% chance of success, which we failed. Can we try it again? We can Seems to have died from wounds inflicted by some sort of wild animal. There's a note besides the bones. Well, maybe that animal right here, huh? So let's inspect the same thing again. Okay, whatever. Let's um, dig. What is this going to do for me? An empty bottle and a knife. Better than nothing, I guess. You're damn right. So can we equip that now? Or is that automatically equipped? No, we should equip that now. So that's equipped. Excellent. We also have a water bottle to kind of get some water down the line. We happen to have a soda. It looks very much like the Pepsi logo. We also have a hat. How about we equip that? There you go. And we have some rice as well. Plus two food. Never rots. Very good. And this is the herbs we picked up, which gives us four HP back. And it never rots as well. And over here, you could actually craft weapons, more food, and stuff like that. Once you have the items, or you find more recipes and stuff like that. Okay, good. 
In terms of our skills, let's see, there's one over here. We have two points to distribute, huh? Okay. So, well, since we're a thief-based class, we would agility. What does fitness do? Affects max health, defense bonus, resist rate, capacity, and fade rate. Affects crit rate, rage speed, and combo rate. A little bit of strength is not a bad thing as well. So we'll do a one and one skills. What do we have here? 20 HP more. Hey, how about that? The game should let you know, like, hey, by the way, there's some skills for you to distribute. <laughs> Otherwise, I would have been running around with, like, you no, know, 20 less HP for no reason. Okay, so that's done. Excellent. It's time for us to move. Now, this note over here is the one that I read. I guess you don't pick it up. You just read it so you leave, or you leave the, the I guess, the information to the village itself. What's happening up here? My accuracy and movement speed is low because we're thirsty. There's no way for us to clear that up right now unless we have the soda. Uh, let's have the soda then. And our negative debuff is now gone. Perfect. Now, we do have a wolf pup here. How do I fight you? Okay. We're in a fight now. It says fight. So you choose the fighting style that you want. Balance would give you a 1.1 to 3.3 chance of attack. Accuracy base would be 95%. This is going to be 0 0.7 to 0 0.0. So this will give us a better chance to hit, right? So we'll do an accuracy base build here. And I guess we'll fight. Now, do you just click over and over? And that down there, I believe, is my rage meter, huh? Well, fuck. We just fucked this guy up. I think I have to learn the combat here a little bit. I'm not sure if you just click the entire way or you just wait for that rage meter to build. Well, the wind is crazy, a sandstorm is on the way. At least we got some meat off of this dog. Oh, we have some water coming up. Had I known, I probably wouldn't have that at soda just yet. Oh well. We're learning as we go here, man. It's alright. So, let's see. Oasis. Although you can't name a single plant in the oasis, you feel peacefully at home. So, we shall go ahead and refill the water bottle. Excellent. I can do it again. Do it again. Oh, no more empty bottles. Okay. We could also fish for a 52% 50 chance to get a fish, which would be food. Let's give it a shot here. We've succeeded and we got two. And we also have one more chance to fish again. Let's go for it. Maybe we luck out. Maybe we luck out. And we failed the second time around. Let's go ahead and drink some water so that we're good for the road. Drink again, my friend. Let's bring you up to 100. There you go. Alrighty, that'll do. And I healed myself. Oh, I didn't really want to heal myself just yet. You made me use my herb? You led me astray, game. And we got two stat points again. Huh. Okay. I'll just drop into agility. And uh, let's go for a little bit more agility. Why not? All right. Now, what is this down here? Kitchenwares? Cart? Kitchenwares, workshop, and torch. Increase mo increases mood and accuracy at night. Oh. How about that? So you just put that out yourself, or what? Hmm. I guess we'll find out as we go here. So now we just go, and then you could also run, if I'm correct, this way. I don't think there's a negative for running. It doesn't seem like it, right? Not quite. Over here we have a rock. Cool. We'll check that out pretty soon. And we have a, a hut. A house. A building. I don't know. Check it out. Abandoned house, unlocked door. An unlocked door, perhaps the owner was in a rush when they left and forgot, or perhaps departed knowing they would never return. Let's enter this, why not? Abandoned house. Okay. Garbage dump? The stench is unbearable, but you never know what strange treasures could be hidden inside. 19% uh, chance of success over here, huh? I wonder if this would be increased if I actually had... Oh, I gotta craft this torch first. There you go. So, once you craft it, it goes down here, maybe? I guess that's how it works out. But I need a stick, I need wood. We don't have any of these items just yet. I gotcha. Okay, so maybe once we craft it, it'll be here and it'll help us out for the night. So yeah, we'll give it a shot at 90% chance. It's probably not gonna succeed, but hey. Couldn't find anything. No surprise there. What about this toilet bag here? We could drink out of the toilet, huh? Hmm. Looks like there's still some water in it, or we could refill our water. The thing is, our water bottle is filled up here at the moment. We might just drink out of it after we're done here. Old wooden door. An old wooden broken wooden door. We could spy, 40% chance of success, break it for 47, or jump... Jump the door? Let's spy. Failed. Jump the door, I guess. Failed. Failed completely. Let's try to break it down. Well, so much for our little, um, continuing going forward here. <laughs> Nothing worked. Time for us to leave, I guess. Alrighty. Well, we gave it a shot. 
Unfortunately, our rolls were a little bit too low for those. So, it happens. What is this? Got ourselves a plant of some kind. I wish I would tell you, like, what it is that you just picked up right now. Like, I could kind of make out what it is, like a stone or, like, grass, I guess. What would it be? Dry grass, yeah, but yeah, just let me know. Just let me know. Hey, a little a little hike icon hovering over here says, like, dry grass or rock. That's all I really need. Dry grass, okay. We have ourselves an apple tree. Fruit tree. Quite a rare sight. It's a wonder how it survived. I could eat and get my food back, which is something we'll probably do. I could pick it and get an apple. Three chances at 77%, and we could cut it down for some wood. I guess we'll first start off by picking some food before we actually cut it down, right? So I got one there. Yep. And come on, make it three. Yeah, we got three food. Excellent. And let's actually fill up our hunger by eating. Gave us up to 81. I'll take it. Now we try to cut it down. Now, is this is a good idea. Can I come back and pick food down the line? I don't know, but I'll try to cut it down. And we succeeded. And the tree is still standing, so I guess we just cut down a part of the tree. That's good. But we now have some wood, which could be required for another crafting down the line. Hey, we can make a rope already. We might need that for something. As a matter of fact, we need it for a level 1 cart. Level 1 workshop. This reminds me a lot of, um, the crafting system reminds me a lot of, um, what's the game that we played? The, you know, the hotel game where you go all the way up and all the way down. Well, you start at the top and you go all the way down. I played this, like, literally three weeks ago and I already forgot the name of it. And I really enjoyed the game, too. I'm just really terrible with names. Got some more dry grass here. Some herbs. Dry grass. Sandstorm. Movement speed is at 50%. May be blinded, yeah. I could see how one would be blinded in the middle of a sandstorm. We have a little bit of a road dude just flying around there. Ah, the wind is dying down. Unlocked door. I definitely want to enter this unlocked door. Maybe we'll have some better luck here. Sandstorm, why are you inside the house, man? Get out of here. Garbage dump. 22% chance of success. Might as well give it a try. Failed! Hey, big surprise. Big surprise. Ah, at least we found an unlocked door for once. That's good. A rubble. We could tear apart 30% for... Oh. So if we don't tear it apart, we can't proceed, maybe? Let's see. We failed. We could still proceed. We could pry this bad boy open, which we shall. Oh, now you gotta do some lock picking. So, do I click on... Aha, uh -huh, you click on it at the right point. That's good. Got it. Hey, I, I just got a croissant! Bread. Whatever, it's a croissant to me. Insects. Oh, you could eat, a, you could eat insects. That would make sense, I guess. You're trying to survive. Two more stat points. The game never tells you when you have stat points to distribute to, but whatever. We'll do that and maybe a little bit of more strength. Maybe it'll help us break down doors easier. Who knows? Oh, nice. Got a hat and some kind of um, a roasted fish. Very cool. Now, is this hat the same as the one that we had? This is a one and two? Same one. Okay. Same hat. Rubble. Tear apart for 22% chance. Let's see if we succeed over here. Probably won't, but failed. No surprise. And here's our exit. All right, well, at least luckily with this one, we actually got some stuff this time around. Dry grass and stone. All righty, and over here I'm seeing this would probably be our first go. Oh, shit, who is this guy? I can't move back either. <laughs> I was trying to run away for a while if I could. Uh, night. Mood loss increase and accuracy is terrible at night. Uh, let's find out if we could really quickly maybe craft a torch now. I doubt it, but Yeah, we're missing the rope, which I can make, but we're missing a rag and a stick still, huh? Well, this guy has a stick, the guy I'm about to fight. Maybe I could kill him and take that stick off of him. That would hopefully be what I'm looking for. Well, he's in the way. Maybe we talk to him. Maybe we don't have to kill him. Refugee normal fit. How you doing, buddy? Mm -hmm. Okay, we don't have to fight, right? Refugee. In one look, you know they have been on a long and arduous journey. We could talk, trade, beg, or rob we go into a fight. I don't think I'm ready for a fight yet, especially with the night accuracy. So let's do a talk. If your action success rate is too low, try improving the stat related to that action. That's what I figured as much, but I don't know what stat does what. I guess I'll try to use common sense next time. Uh, let's see if we can do some trading. You offer toucan food, toucan coffee, and he offers a razor. I don't have coffee. Yeah, I figured as much. So that's all he's looking for, huh? Yeah, it's unfortunate. We don't have that. And we could also beg. Mm -hmm. Please, please, my friend, I beg you. That failed. Last thing we could do is rob. 
Now, we are indeed in no longer nighttime. I think we robbed this guy. Okay, and we're going to go with a balanced assault. We'll do a balanced assault, I guess. Okay, he's just whipping my ass now. But my rage meter's almost filled up, it does seem. Do I just spam this over and over? Okay. Oh! Oh, baby! Oh, baby. We got a couple of rage sh hit shots in there to help us out. I gotta find out how... It does seem there is a method to the madness of the clicking. Like, I could dictate whenever I want to swing, but maybe there's a better time to actually swing when you can. Um, let's see. So we killed this guy. What did we take off of his body? Not the stick I was hoping for, but we got some wood, which we can now make the stick, which eventually would lead us down to here. But then we need more wood, but at least we have the stick now. You know what? I think we make the stick. Sure. Okay. And this is also a weapon. Two to five. Main stat will be strength. Accuracy 53. Well, our knife is agility, which is something we excel at. I think we'll stick to our dude for now. This is more damage, sure, but this has better speed, more accuracy for us. We, we definitely do better from that one. A lizard skewer. I guess we got that from that guy as well. Alrighty. Well, that worked out at least. I gotta, I gotta get comfortable with the clicking, though. I think there is definitely a method to the madness when you're supposed to actually swing. It did seem when I slowed down, I was actually landing more shots more often. Now, what's happening over here? My, I'm sad. So, my rage and experience is below, and sandstorm. Okay. And then hungry. We're hungry now, huh? Well, we have some food. I guess we should probably start getting some feasting on. Here's my first go down here, it does seem. Mm, I don't think I want to heal just yet. I'll just have him heal over time. Um, in terms of food, let's have the lizard skewer, I suppose. Plus 25. And we'll have this roasted fish. I probably imagine we'll rot over time, so we might as well just have it now. Okay. So the only thing problematic now is going to be that we're sad. I'm not quite sure how to work on the sadness. But we'll try to figure it out. And we have a town of some kind. There's a person just walking around over here. He's got a knife, or not a knife, but a weapon. Seems like everybody in this um, game has a weapon, huh? Just in case you're ready about to attack him. It's like, yeah, we know what you're up to. I've run into so many refugees recently. Let's see. Uh, a local villager with eyes that pierce the broken heart. Like daggers. Uh, okay, we'll talk first. At least I never moved to the city. I've heard those places have come, have become hell on earth. This guy is a normal character and he's intelligence based. Oh, the other guy was fit. I see what that means now. Okay. Let's see if we can do some trading. I could offer two rocks for fish. I think we do that trade. Why he wants rocks for actual food is really beyond me, but I'm not going to question it. Can we trade again? No. Um, mm -hmm. Can I do some begging? Please, my friend. Please. I need food and goods. Nothing. Okay. There's despair. Oh, does, does begging hurt your, your mood? It could. That seems very low now. Is there anything more miserable than living in this wasteland? Probably not. I've run into so many refugees lately. You're a normal and agility based as well. Any trading you want to do? Ropes for some wine, which does elevate your mood. That's always a thing in games, isn't it? Alcohol always elevates your mood. That happens in real life, unless you're like a sad drunk. Uh, I'm not going to beg because I think that was actually hurting me, so I'll stop here. Desert Village. A village made of the few low-lying buildings. This place is not well off at all. We'll enter the village, I guess. I thought I was already inside. Grain pile. A towering pile of grain now heavily mixed with dust and cobwebs. We could steal rice. This would lower our mood because we're... But since we're a thief, it probably wouldn't affect it too badly. But we could also rest here as well. Let's rest first. Maybe that'll elevate my mood? The enemies are underway. Any area which they have occupied is shown in red. What the fuck? Keep moving forward and stay on your toes. Oh, now the chase begins! Holy snap. Okay, let me steal some rice, which worked. I'm sorry, people. I'm trying to survive here. I could refill my water as well if I want to. You know what? Uh, we prop... What's the success? 81. Let's have my water now. Very good. And let's refill water. Come on. We could do it twice. So let's just drink a lot of water here. And drink water... One more time. Very good. And we will refill. Come on, 81% chance. Come on. Yeah. Very cool. But I'm being chased. I gotta be really careful. There's a person in there. I can see him walking around. Uh, I could pick a lock. 
I could try to jump it. Let's see if we can try to jump this. Failed. Try to spy. Failed. Try to jump one more time. And fuck this. I'm just leaving. I feel like if I break this door down, this guy might have an issue with that, you know? Whatever. Lockpick, I guess. Hey! We actually got one. Garbage dump, which we will check out. Is that gonna fight me because I'm in here now? Like, hey, how did you get in here? Did you pick that lock? I did. How you doing, buddy? I'm not looking to fight if we could just avoid it. Huh. He's not letting me do anything. Or he's not actively talking to me or attacking me. I could rest here, too. Hey. Uh oh. Alright. Uh, I just want to talk if that's okay. I run to refugees, okay? What about trading? Roasted meat for a butcher's knife. That would be pretty cool, but I got nothing that you are offering, my friend. Searching for 25% chance of success, which failed. There's apparently Toad. Hey, we picked up Toad. I guess you could just interact with different stuff as long as you click on them, huh? I think I can steal some rice. I think I shall. Cool. We got some food, at least. I'm out of here before these people realize I'm just running around stealing. Okay. Plus the rebels are after me, which can't be good. Hey. There's a wild dog there, too. Why don't you fight that wild dog, refugee? If your action success rate is too low, yeah, trade. Uh, three biscuits for 16 apples. Seems pretty good, but I, I can't, fortunately, I can't do that trade here at the moment. Alrighty, we're, we're hungry, very hungry, unfortunately. So we'll have this bread now. This meat, which I probably should cook or try to cook at something before we actually eat it. Speaking of which, apple salads. Make an apple salad. That's all we can make here. I can make rope. I can make stones as well. Let's make a couple of stones, I suppose. Make a couple more. Go for it. So the gravel turns into stone. Gotcha. Um, can't make that just yet. And that's about it for now. We're starving, though, still. So how about we have this apple salad? Mushroom. Most likely not poisonous. Well, I hope that's the case. And we'll have roasted sardine. Oh god, of course. A sandstorm would have to fight this thing here, and the rebels are after me too. Why don't you fight him, refugee? Yeah, see, you have to fight the dog. There's no avoiding the dog. I was hoping we just walk by him, but no, no, this guy wants to throw down. Uh, let's go with... what we do best. Accuracy, I suppose. Let's see, I'm gonna, tr I'm gonna spam right now. Oh, so... Essentially, if you spam over and over, like click a lot, the attack won't even reach. While if you time it properly, it's a lot better. My rage meter is ready, but I'm going to save it for maybe a future fight because this is almost done. Okay, that doggy went down. And we got a really poisonous looking swamp here. A sewage pond! May cause diarrhea! I probably don't want that happening. Let's see if we can salvage though. I think we're almost out of time here for today as well. Success! We salvaged a, a sardine in a sewage pond. Probably not the most tasty one, but it'll work. And we got some bugs, too. Now, I wonder, if I drink this water now and collect it, will it be, like, dirty water, or will it somehow just magically be good water? It is sewage water. Indeed. Well, I'll take it for now, though. And that is about it. So, is there a way for me to save here? Save? Okay, cool. We're gonna wrap it up here, guys. As I mentioned, if you want to see more of this, do let me know in the comments. I think we're almost to our first destination, it does seem. So, hey, there's that. If you guys want to see some more, let me know in the comments. I will catch you next time.